Hello and happy Feast of the Presentation. Our Gospel today comes from the Gospel of St. Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There is also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, friends, as we listen to the gospel today, as we celebrate this great feast of the presentation, we listen to Luke's gospel when we hear about how this all happened, how Jesus was brought into the temple, how he was presented to God. And I think one of the things that is so amazing here is that God had dwelt in the temple, in the Holy of Holies, but now... God comes into the temple having taken on human flesh. What an amazing moment to think about what must have been happening in heaven as the angels, the choir of angels would have sung out, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. This great scene that was unfolding, certainly I think about the host of angels and how heaven would have thundered with their praise of what was happening here on earth. But as this is happening, as this amazing, amazing thing is happening in God's temple, I also think about how many people were present who had no idea that something life-altering, life-changing, amazing was unfolding before them. Certainly Joseph and Mary, certain Certainly Simeon and Anna understood that something incredible was taking place. But how many were in the temple that day that had no idea about what was unfolding in front of them? And my friends, that same Jesus Christ who was presented in the temple all those years ago, he continues to be present, body, blood, soul, and divinity in every single tabernacle throughout the world and just like that day so many years ago when Jesus was presented in the temple how many people how many of us go about our daily days never fully appreciating never fully realizing the life the grace the amazing gift that God wants to present to us when we make ourselves present in front of the tabernacle and so my friends as a suggestion of a way in which we might celebrate today's Feast of the Presentation, might we find some time in our day to make ourselves sit in the presence of God in the tabernacle, wherever that may be. God bless.